First, an update on breaking news. Rescuers have gotten everyone off the stuck Sky, uh, sky Safari ride at Southwick Zoo in Menden. Now, one of the owners of the zoo said an oil drip was spotted where people got on and off the ride, and that's what halted the whole thing. Some people were stuck in the air for two hours. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us live from the zoo where the fire chief held a news conference a short time ago. Amanda. Well, Mike Shannon, about 40 people were stuck up on that ride for about two hours. Half of them were rescued by zoo staff, the other half by emergency crews. Luckily, no one was injured during this. Take a look at this video of some of the rescues. Many of those chairs suspended about 30 feet in the air above animal enclosures. The chief of the Menden Fire Department, William Kessler, says the 911 call came in at about 224 and crews were here in about 10 minutes. Upon arrival, he said 19 people were still still inside eight chairs on the Sky Fari ride, 12 adults and seven children. He said zoo employees had already brought down about 20 of the 40 people stuck to safety, but by the time rescue crews arrived, they paused that operation so they could get the tech rescue team on the zoo's lift equipment to help get the rest down. Now, Kessler says this team trains for things like this and said, fortunately, not every chair was full on this ride. When it goes through trees, which is great for the customers of the Southwick Zoo, it makes uh, rescuing them a little bit tougher. Um, and especially with some of the animal enclosures, uh, the zookeepers here did try to clear a couple of the animal areas. They weren't able to on some, um, but in conjunction with the rescue personnel and, and the zoo uh, personnel, we were able to get access to them. Fortunately, not every chair car was full. It was more of a sporadic uh, people sitting in the chair, so that helped as well. Our tech Again, this rescue effort took a total of about two hours. Luckily, no one was injured, but we are starting to hear from families who were inside the park and on that ride during this. We'll have more from them tonight starting at 10. For now, live in Menden, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.